Welcome to Flavors for Life Healthy Culinary Movement. Let's learn about macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients versus micronutrients. We use measurements of macronutrients in different foods to describe how many calories they provide, while we use measurements of micronutrients to describe levels of vitamins and minerals found in each food. We need both macros and micronutrients to keep our bodies running, since together they supply us with energy, help with production of hormones, nourish our tissues and organs, help produce enzymes, and carry out processes responsible for repairment, growth, and development. Macronutrients. What are macronutrients? Macronutrients are energy-providing chemicals or substances required in relatively large amounts by living organisms. There are three primary macronutrients that are found in all types of foods, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. We cannot live without all three of these macronutrients. They are needed for everything, from growth and development to sustaining circulation and providing the brain with enough energy for cognitive functioning. Why we need proteins. Protein foods are made of amino acids commonly called the building blocks of the body. There are nine amino acids that are considered essential for health, which we must obtain from our diets since our bodies cannot make them on their own. Some of the roles that amino acids or proteins have include helping to form and maintain muscle mass, providing energy for our cells and brain, helping store away energy for later use in fat stores, making your heart beat, and helping build the foundation of vital organs, including your heart. Lungs and even your DNA, and supporting growth and development. Why we need carbohydrates? The body breaks down various carbohydrate foods, whether simple or complex, into glucose, which is used easily for energy or saved away in muscles and fat stores for later use. Carbs are the body's preferred number one energy source. However, they aren't the only macronutrient that supplies energy to cells. This is why it's possible to follow a low-carb diet and still have enough energy, endurance, and muscular strength. Why we need fats? Fats don't make you fat. They're actually another source of energy for the body and important for controlling your appetite. In fact, fats are a totally essential part of the diet and capable of helping with weight management and disease prevention. Healthy fats in your diet have the roles of protecting your vital organs. Regulating hormone production, including reproductive hormones like estrogen and testosterone, helping regulate your body temperature, allowing for proper absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, providing your brain with fuel, and so much more. Micronutrients. What are micronutrients? Micronutrients are various types of chemicals that are found in trace amounts in the foods we eat. Micronutrients can be classified in two main categories: vitamins and minerals. Micronutrients are essential because they protect our bodies from disease, slow the aging process, and help every system in our bodies work properly. The long list of micronutrients functions can range from supporting metabolism to fighting free radicals and promoting overall health. Why we need vitamins. Vitamins are organic micronutrients which can be broken down by air, heat, and acid. Researchers have classified 13 different types of vitamins, all of which have their own important roles in the body, including protecting against oxidative stress, slowing the aging process, and preventing cancer. Why we need minerals? Minerals are any inorganic substances that occur in nature. Minerals are key micronutrients in soil and water, which are passed into the foods that we eat. Minerals play a big role in bone development, brain health, cellular function, and metabolism. We need at least eighteen different types of minerals to function properly. For more information about the Flavors for Life Healthy Culinary Movement, please visit www.flavorsforlife.org.